We've now come past Bowdown House and you are standing in Bowdown Valley. This area is deliberately maintained as a wide open ride. Open space within a woodland is really important to allow in light and allows different species to thrive. It's also where you're most likely to find lots of wildflowers. If you're standing here on a sunny summer's day, you might be enjoying the many butterflies and other pollinators flitting around here, feeding on the wildflowers. The valley itself has been created by a stream running down through it over many years. We created a number of ponds by blocking off the flow and allowing them to dam up. This has created another valuable habitat where we have found many newts, smooth and palmate, and a whole range of dragonflies. In fact, 14 different types of dragonfly have been recorded here at Bowdown Woods and around here. Near where you're standing is a particularly good place to spot them. The valley has a number of gullies running through it with heavily wooded banks. You'll see lots of alder trees as they like their roots to be in the water. The gullies are created when water at the top of the hill from Greenham Common runs down through the gravels and then hits what is called a hard iron pan or clay layer. There it goes sideways under the ground until it emerges when it gets to the edge of the plateau and then runs to where we're standing and then north towards the River Kennet. The flowing water creates a wetter habitat that is really important for the diversity of the woodland. You get a whole series of wet woodland flora like opposite leaved golden saxifrage, creeping jenny and yellow pimpernel. Enough about the importance of the wetter habitats. Let's go further into the woodland and see one of the more historic woodland practices, coppicing. 